Welcome to another episode of Summing Up, a show from Alaska Software about the latest x Plus update. Today we're talking about build 779, so let's start. With the latest update, build 779, we did a strictly focus on quality. So what we did is we looked for areas where there are some peaks, some hotspots of PDRs, of issues or telemetry from our labs, which has shown there are some problems. <clears throat> so where we finally ended up is we fixed a total of more than 40 work items for that build. We fixed more than 30 PDRs and we even did a small new feature which is related to some of the PDRs which is about DB Destroy. It's like DB Create. With DB Create you are creating a table. With DB Destroy you can get rid of the table. This function we added with respect to the uh, ISOM emulation because when you are doing DBF tables emulated by the PostgreSQL ISOM emulation the problem is there's a lot of metadata in different tables and a simple drop table does not clean up all the other stuff. So having a DB destroy allows you to get rid of your temporary tables in your uh, migrated scenarios where you have been moving over to the PostgreSQL ESAM from your DBF CDX or DBF NTX tables. So let's look into the other areas where we focused on uh, quality. One big area was the debugging experience. Uh, we, we learned in the last 18 months that there are some issues, specifically due to the new features, new capabilities of the platform, uh, which make debugging uh, not that super great experience. So we digged into that and I think we did a very good job. So please try it out after the update and do debugging in the workbench as much as you can. We are welcome, we welcome all your feedback because now we have a really solid debugging platform, no more glitches, no more hangups, performance much more better. Um, and it's true for text mode, graphic user interface, web application, or and even web application debugging. So try it out. And I have to say we are proud of it because now it's really fun to do debugging. Uh, another quality focus was the PostgreSQL database engine. Uh, specifically the ISAM emulation. We, we fixed a lot of all known PDRs in the, of the Postgres database engine have been fixed with that update. Uh, we strictly focused again on reliability on performance. So it's not only more reliable, but also it's performing faster, specifically in the Seek area, for example. What did we miss? Well, yes, <clears throat> there's the positional interface. Uh, we did implement it, but unit testing and acceptance testing of the positional interface turned out to be difficult, specifically if it comes to different PostgreSQL server versions and the related performance issues. Engine needs to use different algorithms there. Um, so we decided to have that not in the current update, but have it in one of the future updates. Uh, the positional interface is DB position, DB go position, and it helps you to do a uh, percentage-based navigation in a result set or in a, in a SQL table. And this way supports browsing and the scroll bar, for example. And another area where we, <coughs> uh, which we didn't uh, put into that update was, again, Seek performance. We found a way to increase Seek performance again by more than 10 times. Um, so again, something which will be in the next update. Yes. That's it. So again, this update was strictly about quality. Specifically, the new debugging experience is great. So if you haven't tried a wet workbench yet, please try the workbench now and use the debugging feature. Even if you use multi-edit, the workbench can be used as a standalone debugger. It allows you to debug your source code, your applications. You even don't need to start the application from the debugger. You can attach with the workbench to an existing process. So try it out, and other than that, I would say enjoy your day. Thanks for watching Summing Up, and see you next time.